We're here at the location where the first Chamber of Commerce building was, at the, in the old schoolhouse right here at Honeyhorn Plantation. Right. So it's great to be here. Yeah, it is great to be here. And I thought it'd be just to take a little walk through history. Talk to us about Honeyhorn and, and how, uh, during your time as the mayor that uh, uh, made the purchase from the Hack family to, to Honeyhorn. Um, I'll give you quickly the, but the long version. Okay. But Marianne and, and I and uh, Steve Raleigh were uh, at a, uh, a meeting of for something, uh, probably the Municipal Association uh, up in Columbia, and we were just talking uh, back and forth, and Steve had the idea that what we needed to do was bring um, to the great house, the main, main house here, uh, to make it a restaurant so it could be uh, self-sufficient. And then as Steak began talking about it, Marianne said, no, what we need to do, because she was on the museum board, she said, what we need to do is to get the museum to take this in and bring it in and make it the museum. And so I give her all the credit. My dad started coming over about 1947, 48. He used to come over and stay at Benny Hudson's. He and Benny became good friends. He was a traveling salesman, and he just went all around the island selling all his wares. How old would you have been when you first started coming to Hilton Head? Um, believe it or not, I have a, a picture that's in one of the books here that has me at probably 18 months. So 21 years of, of service, and you know, I've always admired and, and respected the way that uh, you ran council meetings. It was always important for you, I believe, to, to gain consensus from your fellow council members. Typical day for me is I, I got up at 4.30 uh, in the morning and uh, I would typically do all the sort of paperwork involved with running a construction company. Uh, and. Then I would have a lot of time in the afternoons to be involved on town council, to coach Little League, coach football, all of those things with the youth. And uh, it was the only way I could have ever done it. I've tried to look back on it and I just don't see any way that I personally could have run things the way we were able to without, um, without doing that. Let's talk about some of the things that that you think were really maybe instrumental or key turning points? One of the things was certainly the beginning of the town, the town deciding to, in fact, incorporate and, and have a government. It gave us more control than we had. Uh, it, Beaufort County uh, Council ran pretty much everything on Hilton Head, and people wanted a say in how things ran. I have told many that I think without Tom Peoples and Tom Peoples' leadership, Cross Island Parkway wouldn't be here. I think that's probably very true. Uh, it was, um, the others had blazed the trails to try to get it here and got it all in, uh, in process, but uh, I do believe that we weren't able to carry it over. When folks come here and they decide to, to move here, they need to really understand that this is a community and it's truly a community, and we have to bring all of us portion sections of the town together. That was something I sort of always tried to do and I've always felt like that one way I was able to do that is because of my father's legacy and the fact that he had been over here since the late 40s. That's a, a great legacy. You know the chamber has been just fantastic. It's all uh, under your leadership. I look back and think about all the ways uh, the chamber has been involved and it's certainly been a positive, positive for our island. I've always said when business and government works well together, great things happen for the community and uh, that's what we clearly demonstrated and look forward to those continuing those days. Yeah, hope so as well. You know, I'm proud to know you. I'm proud to call you a friend. I really am all the things you've done. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that.